Hi guys, so uh, I thought I'd do an unboxing of uh, my African cichlids that I've just purchased online or purchased the other day, so just arrived. Uh, so I'm going to try and uh, just open these up as best I can. Trying to hold the camera, unfortunately, trying to do this all myself at the moment. But came in a nice polystyrene box proper fish box. Uh, previous ones I've had come in cardboard boxes with styrofoam wrapped around them so uh, it's good to see that uh, these have been well and truly packed properly and sealed properly as well so I'm uh, very excited to see these. He just wants to rip the box open and uh, get into it. So, uh, oh, brilliant! So he's got heat back in there, which I was worried about, which is great. Again, packed well. Um, there's a fish there. The bags. So uh, I'm going to put the camera down now and just check the fish out and uh, come back to you, thanks. So there guys, um, I've got two bristle nose catfish in this bag. So that's uh, all looking at So uh, here's another one bag in here. So I can't remember which ones these were now. Um, I think these are my chueries. That's how you pronounce them. And these are the guys I'm really stoked about. So these are my uh, super red, red top longies. Uh, so, yeah, all looking good in there. So I'm gonna now put this uh, camera down, and uh, I'm going to uh, properly unbag these and get them acclimatised. The thing I'm really impressed with uh, unpacking these is uh, they've been not only put in the polystyrene box, but they've been double bagged. Um, upside down. Uh, there's also some plastic inside, some shredded plastic inside to stop the fish from jumping and getting caught up in any bits. You know, uh, all these fish have, have been delivered in A1 condition. I cannot say how impressed I am with, uh, you know, the way this has been done. And, and these are the guys here that I'm after, the uh, Super Red Top Hongi. So, they're going to get acclimatised. Um, I'm going to try and put this camera um, over here so I can actually. Oops, sorry about that. So I'll edit that out a bit. So I'm going to try and do uh, the unbagging while, uh, while recording. So uh, what I do here is um, as I unbag them, I um, these are to climatize the A to the temperature of the tank, so I leave the fish in the bags. Um, but obviously they've been traveling for pretty near on 24 hours in these bags now, so uh, the water will be a little bit ammoniafied. Um, if they have been transported properly, then uh, the fish wouldn't have been fed for a good two couple of days beforehand, uh, before dispatch. So. Uh, they, they shouldn't produce as much ammonia in the bags and things, which is again a good thing for the fish. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and save these bags and stuff at the moment because uh, bags always come in handy. Uh, pull that one apart a little bit. There we go. Um, so what I do is I place the bags in the in the uh, the tank water to start getting the temperature right in in the water. But I also put uh, a little cup full of the, the aquarium water in the, the bags as well, and I'll gradually top that up over the course of you know uh, a number of uh, minutes or so. So it says on the bag there, it's quite good. It says to minimise shock, turn off the aquarium lights, which you can see I've done. Float the unopened bag in aquarium or pond. Uh, open the bag by removing seal or band. Roll the bag down from the open top to form a collar so the bag will float in the aquarium or pond without support. I tend to just use a, a clothes peg for that. Um, 
float the bag for approximately 20 minutes during this temperature equalization period. Regularly add small amounts of water from the aquarium or pond into the bag and then gently release the fish into their new surroundings. Uh, do not turn on aquarium lights for at least one hour. So I've already got these lights turned off in this aquarium and uh, you can see I'm used to doing this before already because uh, I have done this numerous times so uh, I am aware of trying how to to equalize these fish into their, their surroundings a bit better. So again just using a normal clothes peg, uh, take out this uh, bit of plastic that's just floating in the top there. I've never seen that done before but I think that's a really good idea. Give a little plastic beaker cup so just take some of the aquarium water and just introduce some of that in there as well. I've also got an airline, a uh, spare airline here as well, which uh, I'll put some oxygen in the water as well in each of the bags for a while, uh, just to try and help the situation because they haven't had oxygen, apart from obviously the, uh, the pure oxygen that the, uh, the seller would have put in there for me. So thanks very much Tony, really appreciate the way you pack these, fantastic job. Uh, I'll certainly be buying fish off you again in this manner. Um, and after my previous experiences where I've received dead fish and broken bags and you know wet cardboard boxes it's uh, an absolute joy to see that these are being packed properly and, uh, and uh, they're taking a lot of care over over the fish's well, welfare which uh, is, is crucial to me so as you can see that's the first bag open these are double bagged Again, just in, ensures that if one bag breaks, the fish aren't going to be without water. And the fish will colour up as well, you know, obviously they've, uh, they've been in transport, so uh, it's a little bit difficult to see which one's which. Um, Apart from obviously the red top on geese, uh, I think uh, the ones in the middle bag here are probably my Elongatis Chura, and these are probably my uh, King Sizes here. So, also got two bristle nose catfish. The reason why I like just, uh, just just putting a peg on the side here is they don't then float around and, and accidentally tip over and introduce the, the other aquarium water to my, my system as well. So uh, it's all about getting the fish climatized to your quality of water and also because they're, they're used to having the ammonia in their bags there for a while. So. Uh, just transfer some oxygen in there, some air in there for a bit. There we go, just, uh, and I'll leave those now just to get climatized to what temperature. Um, and that's it, brilliant. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, guys, so. Uh, Continue the unbagging and unboxing process. So, uh, just showing you the fish in the bags now. You can see they're starting to colour up a little bit now. They've had some uh, fresh water put in the bags and also some oxygen. So, they're my Elongatus uh, Jura. Uh, these here are my King Sizes. I'm going now based on the colour. They are, are certainly colouring up now, so it's a bit easier. Uh, as I said before, these are my Red Top Hongies. So uh, well stoked about those, some nice looking fish in there. And also to the side there, which we can see because of the glare, a couple of bristlenose uh, catfish. So uh, one of those will be introduced to this tank anyway, keep the tank clear of algae. And the other one will be introduced to my community tank as well and keep that clear of algae.
So these are my new edition uh, African cichlids uh, that I got yesterday, showed you part of the unboxing. So I just want to show you now them covering up now. So they've, they've been in here less than 24 hours, but uh, they are certainly covering up nicely now. So you can see uh, some nice stripage coming on. These king size, these the pale blue looking ones. Uh, when they put their colours on, they actually turn actually white with black barring, which uh, which looks absolutely fabulous. So I'm looking forward to when they grow on. Uh, I've got some red top bongies in there. You can see he's poking his head out there. So he's obviously trying to find a little cave and a nest for for breeding. I've had to take one of them out, one of the males out. Uh, he was really beaten up badly this morning so I put him in an isolation tank. Uh, I advise anyone that's that's got African cichlids to make sure you've got a hospital tank or a quarantine tank as well as your, your normal main aquarium. Um, it, it can really be done cheaply just with a, a plastic storage box, a heater and a bubble up filter. It's, it's that simple um, but it allows you to just put your fish into a sort of sanctuary away from any um, aggressiveness um, until they, they heal. So that's what I've done with one of the red top congi males. I don't want to lose any of those fish. Um, so I've segregated him off for the time being. But yeah, you can see these guys are, are really starting to cover up nicely. So more on that as the weeks go on. And thanks for watching. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.